Hey there, it's Marina Janelle. I am just getting kamikaze because we have a saddle fitting today. Woohoo! I'm stoked because one of my New Year's resolutions was to get a new saddle that actually fit both Kazi and myself. So in this video, I'm getting one step closer to that goal. I hired Reed from County Saddlery to come and check the fit on my current saddle and to measure Kazi for a new saddle. In this video, you'll get to hear the tip she gave me for my situation, but I also thought it would be helpful for anyone who hasn't had a saddle fitting of their own yet. This fitting was $160 for three hours of basically mounting and dismounting Kazi. We made so many adjustments, I edited a lot of them out because it would have been three hours long. Look at what you do, how she reacts, all that stuff, and I'm just going to make tiny recommendations to okay. make it all better. Okay. And like with the Arabians, do you recommend having a little tail thing that like goes around their tail? Oh, Cooper? Lord, I haven't seen one of those since the 70s. Uh. Also, side note, if you've seen my New Year's resolution video, you know that I'm a beginner rider and I'm new to horses. I was a little bit nervous posting this video because you'll get to see me ride, and I'm a little bit scared of people picking me apart here on YouTube. So just to reiterate, again, I'm a beginner and I'm not pretending to be anything except the beginner that I am. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, a enjoy. Contour curve that's meant to Cut back to their elbow here, but come forward into the girth group. Versus just go straight down. Okay. The back on point fillet is attached to the tree point. Mm -hmm. I don't love these because it's actually pulling straight down behind the shoulder. And if the saddle is a little wide for her, it's like exaggerating that. Okay. One thing I ask people that take regular lessons, What's the one thing you're just all the time? You like sit back, sit back, and it's really uncomfortable. So like, I feel like I have to do a lot of work in order to sit on my butt. And it, and yes, we all need to work till the day we die when, as riders. Yeah. But usually when it's something that's constantly like, and if it's something like that, 99% of the time you can do that. Okay. So the last thing you want to be is here and have her up here. Yeah. It's like you want to be here so her wither can come up and then hopefully her, yeah. yeah. So this isn't a good place to be on any horse and these guys, it's really tough. Yeah. Talked about yesterday with some shims and just to kind of rebalance this saddle. Falling right? Yeah. No, falling left. Falling left and stepping into yeah. the right side. Okay. like a forward flat dressage saddle or an all-purpose type in like a 17 and a half seat I think is going to be good for you but let's try yours with this and see what happens shim on the left side yeah so you definitely needed that yeah but you knew that because you were constantly Falling. yeah I'm gonna just loan you this setup for a little bit just leave you with this pad these shims that girth just so you can just have fun with it and hopefully the non-slip will help keep it behind your shoulder plus I think the lift in front and the stabilization of the saddle might help that as well she's gonna need shims no matter what saddle you have right now, okay. right to left. Ideally, we don't do front and left because okay. the saddle's gonna fit and we're just correcting the right to left. That's okay. ideal. Can we write down for you what we talked about? 
talked about as far as the seat size, the style of saddle. You can just start looking. I can start asking around and see what we can find that might be affordable for you. Okay. Um, and you know, we can get pretty darn close and it'll be good for what you want. Yeah. It'll be fine. You'll be comfortable. She'll be comfortable and yeah. off you go. Oh, this was so much more fun today, wasn't it? Yesterday would have been yucky. Got it.